everybody. Anyway, I, I thought I'd uh, talk a little bit about uh, politics. You know, I, I can't stand. I honestly, <laughs> I honestly don't really care about politics. To be honest with you, I think politics are a pretty, uh, pretty nasty uh, subject. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a mess. Um, but you know, since the you know whole twenty twelve election, is, you know, was coming up, you know, I thought I'd say something. Um, but I mean, before I say that, I just have to say really quick: since when was it okay for people to just come up to you and ask you who you're gonna vote for? I mean, what happened here? Like, <laughs> I thought I thought uh, who you're, the person you're gonna vote for. Or whoever you're going to vote for, you know, I thought it was supposed to be a, a private thing. And now, you know, because that's just been happening to me, happening to me um, quite a lot lately. You know, I'm at Walmart or something like that, you know, it's the cashier or somebody else. Like, who are you, hey, so who do you think, who are you going to vote for? Who do, you, who do you think should be the next president? And it's just such an awkward, <laughs> such an awkward situation because, you know, it's not... You know, because some people they ask you who you're gonna vote for, and then you you know you tell them, and then they get pissed off at you if you're if it's not the person that they want you to vote for. You know, it's like people are just using it as an excuse to like get in an argument with you or something. <laughs> I don't mean, I don't got time for that shit. But no, shit, it's, it's, it's nobody's business who I'm voting for. I mean, shit. But um. I don't know. Everybody should just vote for, you know, whoever you feel you have the most in common with, I guess. And, and just hope that, you know, they're going to do as much as they can of what they say they're going to do for the country or whatever. You know, shit. But, um, you know, as far as political stuff, you know, yeah, so that's the voting thing. Um, However, yeah, who I'm gonna vote for? I'm not. It's not. I'm not telling you. It's none of your business. But um, I guess in a way, I did kind of have something a little controversial to say. Um, and uh, I wanted to say something about the whole abortion, you know, thing that's going on. Yeah, I got people over here, you know, who are totally against it. People who are in the middle, and then people who are um, all for it. Now, me personally, I, I I guess you can say I'm kind of one of the people that's in the middle, because I mean I do I do consider myself pro-life, but at the same time, I I understand how how abortion can be necessary, you know, um, in certain situations. You know, for instance, you know. And other people have said this, you know, if, if, if a woman gets raped, um, and I know some people are saying, you know, even if she gets raped, you know, she can still, you know, um, you know, keep the baby and, you know, just put it up for adoption. But it doesn't, uh, it's not that easy to me. Uh, it doesn't seem that, that simple. Because people are, I think some of the people that say this are kind of forgetting that, um, a woman has to carry a baby for nine month, months. A baby has to grow inside her for nine months. And from what I heard, pregnant, being pregnant, pregnancy, pregnancy, can't say it <laughs> right, but from what I heard, being pregnant is not easy. Um, <laughs> it's not easy. And, uh, you know, it's just to think that if you got raped and just to carry the person who raped you baby inside you for nine months I mean that, that doesn't seem fair to me I mean it seems 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 crazy um so no it's not that it's not that easy so you know in a situation like that I do think that you know abortion is is necessary um and the, the what I don't like about abortion though is that you know you have some people out here that think you know, that they can just sleep with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they get pregnant or not. You know, they just, oh, well, their, their attitude's kind of like, oh, I'll just get an abortion if I get pregnant. You, you know, like, it's no big deal. Like, you know, just sleep with whoever and, 
You know, if I get pregnant now, so what? I can just get an abortion. Now, to me, that is that's wrong because you're just like deliberately doing it, like you know, to use you know, use some protection, you know, shit. Um, but yeah, and I know there's a whole thing about that too. Oh, I don't know if I use protect, you know, it doesn't feel the same. But, but, <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, like, wow. But yeah, you know, as far yeah, as far you know, back to the, the the rape situation, you know, you know, I haven't, I never been pregnant before, um, so I don't know, you know, yeah, I don't know exactly what it's like to be pregnant, but you know, I, I I'm sure there's women out there who have been pregnant, um, women who are mothers who who know, uh, you know, that you know, being pregnant is not easy, and. Uh, you know, to to carry, you know, your rapist, your rapist child, I mean, you know, for nine months, you know, it's not like you're just pregnant for like a week, or, you know, it's nine months. So, and yeah, you know, like how, I know, how I went from talking about, you know, the voting situation to abortion, because, you know, I do feel like abortion does have... Um, does have or play a part in in this, you know, as far as who you're gonna vote for, you know. So, no, I I don't think that um I don't think ab abortions should be illegal. I mean, to me, it's just kind of. And then on top of it, you know, it seems like a lot of the you know the ones uh, for, well, first of all, well, not a lot of them. Like there there are women that are against abortion too, but you know. I I do kind of have a problem with men, you know, kind of talking about, you know, women, you know, you know women, men saying, no, no, you know, women shouldn't be getting abortions. But, you know, men, <laughs> men definitely have no idea what it's like to, to to have a baby inside them for nine months, you know. Well, you know, there's the pregnant man, but the pregnant man was born uh, biologic biologically female so you know it still wasn't you know a biological man who was pregnant so you know until until you know something happens in the future where biological men you know can uh, biologically born men can actually get pregnant and carry babies for nine months I think that men you know really need to be quiet <laughs> on the um, on the whole abortion um, uh, topic or whatever, because uh, you know it's just yeah I think this is just something that really should remain you know amongst females and you know you know, and I feel the same way about you know certain issues that men go through or things that happen you know with men that you know don't happen with women you know something that women don't really go through you know I think that kind of stuff should stay you know amongst men I think they should be the ones to discuss that kind of stuff so you know I feel still still feel the same way about guys too you know they should uh things that don't have anything to do with women really you know that should be up to them and the abortion thing I think that it should mainly be up to women <sighs> uh, I feel kind of good getting that out because I've been thinking about this shit for like a week <laughs> but um that's all I have to say for now. I don't know. Uh, next time I make a video, and um, I'll try not to wait so long, you know, for my next video. Because, like, I mean, I haven't made a video in almost a month. <laughs> and, you know, and this is, yes, this is my first, first time making a video after a whole month, pretty much. So, <sighs> all right, see you next time. Please.